So today I'm going to play a few riffs for you using my Axe FX2 and my Atomic Reactor 5050 All Tube Stereo Power Amp. And I'll talk a little bit more about it after the music. Thanks. <laughs> So all those uh, patches were had some delay and reverb on it um, because that's the way I record. So I know you guys probably want to hear it without delay, so let's just do a couple of those riffs without delay. <laughs> So again, that's without delay. Here's with delay. <laughs> heard was my Axe FX2 into my Atomic Reactor 5050 all tube stereo power amplifier and into a custom audio amplifiers uh, 212 cabinet with vintage 30 Celestian speakers. I'm miking it uh, with a Sennheiser E609 close to the speaker and also using an Ederol R09HR as a kind of a room mic. So those two sources are blended in the video. Um, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the power amp. 
It's um, an all steel chassis, two rack space, 26 pound unit. Uh, so it's not brutally heavy, uh, but it's brutally loud. It's got great headroom, lots of power, 50 watts a side, tube power. Um, so that's always a little bit different than solid state power, uh, much louder on the tube side. Um, this amplifier features two separate channels uh, with uh, separate uh, standby switches on each channel as well as independent level and presence controls on the unit. Also your fuse holders are actually in the front of the amp for easy access and you have uh, the ability to bias the amp right from the front. So you can put your multimeter in here and uh, your bias adjustments are right on the front for both channels of the amplifier. So if you decide you don't want to stick with the 6L6 tubes or you want to change brands of 6L6 tubes or go to an EL34 for instance, you can uh, adjust the bias yourself right on the front panel.